Hello and welcome to Architeasy. This tutorial belongs to the Revit curtain wall session and now I'm going to show you how to create this wooden plank facade. This is the Eriksberg Hotel designed by Sander Sandberg Architects from Sweden and for underlays I will be using floor plan and elevations I found on ArcDaily website. I will also show you the method that could help you with the other examples you like actually how to import the drawings, pictures properly into Revit and successfully recreate them. So we are in the Revit right now and the first step I'm going to do is linking GPX file we downloaded from the ArcDaily website and I'm going to link the floor plan into the level 1. I have to check overall how the dimensions are and I'm going to do it by the kitchen element so this is around 600 this seems fine I'm just going to pin this floor plan GPX and create the wall I'm going to create those basic walls actually those glass walls inside they will be done as a generic walls with the exterior location line and they will be connected to the level 2 and I'm just going to make it something like this and now I'm going to the east elevation and I will link facade picture here this one is the east elevation I'm going to move it to the corner of the wall and because I don't see the end I'm just going to make this as a wireframe and scale this so from here to here till the end of the wall and I'm just going to pin it. We'll go back to the floor plan and we'll create reference plane here. We'll name it as a roof 01 and we'll just put it 6.9 meters from this wall here. Again going to the east and let's create the roof by extrusion. For a plane create this roof 01. Okay and just draw the line above this one click ok you got this what i don't like right now is this plum cut so i'm going to fix it i will take a square and we'll just put 400 because the 400 is the thickness of the roof and you see it looks very nice i'm now just going to create to create a 3d view in 3d view i am going to select all our walls and going to attach them to the roof and also I'm just going to make level 2 as the underlay we'll select our roof go to level 1 and we'll just drag this end till here so we basically got the overall shape and the next step we need to make is to create these wooden planks and this is made from the vertical profiles from my point of view I will make them as a 150 width and 25 millimeter stick so i'm going to the wall wall architecture and we'll take the curtain wall we'll go to edit type so i took the empty curtain wall there is no parameters here there is nothing assigned we'll name this as a wooden planks for the curtain panel i'm going to put the empty panel for the horizontal grid i'm going to put to put the fixed distance of 180 millimeters the reason for this is that if one plank is 150 I will put this gap in between of 30 millimeters and then nothing for the horizontal grid and we'll put here this 50 by 150 millimeters so I'm just going to use it in order to create a wall and we'll go to 3d I'm going to select one of the mullions We'll unpin it, go to edit type, duplicate and make one of 150 by 25. So the thickness is 25 and the width is 150. And let's put some other material. Let's put any wood, so sash. Okay, pin it and select the wall again and put this one this seems pretty fine according to the picture we have on our daily what i'm going to do now i'm just going to create a similar wall with let's say offset of of 50 millimeters from the base wall 
and here let's say around 600 and now I'm just going to trim it if this happened to you it, it means that we cannot make more than 200 in one direction so what we have to do is just to split our curtain wall this one and this one and now just trim those halves let's go to 3d I'm going to select all of them and we'll attach them to the roof now I'm going to the east and I'm going to select the edit profile we'll delete this one we'll create the bottom of the roofs we'll pick the bottom of the roofs and we'll start making arches just go to 3d delete the bottom line and just trim click ok unjoin elements and we got the east side now let's go to the south side and repeat the process we need the gpx file from the east side so i'm just i just select it Control c go to the south facade Control v click somewhere this is our south facade i'm going to pick this bottom and to put it here to be sure how it fits i'm going to make this as a wireframe view and we'll select one of those two walls and we'll just drag and until the end point where the arches are meeting each other again edit profile and start I really hope you find this tutorial useful, if so please like this video and subscribe for new ones and of course if you have any questions please feel free to write in the comments. Thanks for watching.